Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello and very good morning to all of you. Apa khabar? Assalamualaikum. Hello, Doktor. Khabar baik. Khabar baik. Thank you. Khabar baik. Terima kasih. Alright, so uh, in my list there have a uh, twenty five participants. So now we just have a uh, twenty two. So we are three more. Okay. Maybe have a holiday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually. Actually, in Malaysia today, this is a public holiday, all right? Mm -hmm. So today, this is a public holiday, so no, no class actually. But uh, if uh, if I um <coughs> cancel our class, we have to make replacement class. So I think this is a uh, most difficult because everyone in the other field, okay? So yeah. it is uh too difficult to us try to combine. Let's say I want to do in uh, tomorrow, I want to do in two p.m. Some of you maybe they have another class, so I think I just go on. So everyone, just silent your mouth. And so I just put uh the date on um uh, Friday. I mean it's uh, we already done our replacement class. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay. So everyone, uh today I have uh some news. This is uh, I'm not sure this is a surprise or not. But mm -hmm. you have to see in my screen. Okay, wait, yeah. So suspend, what is it? <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> okay, I'm not sure. Are you surprised or not? Are you sure or not? <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> uh, first of thing, that I tell you last day. Uh, I have a sum of news from UPM, and then they give me the date for your to sit down for your test too. Okay, so attention, please listen carefully, guys. Okay, attention. Here, uh, here the detail about test two. So if there are any changes, I will inform you again. Okay. So now this is the date. This is a fixed date uh, to everyone to take a test too. Okay. So but they if they have any changes about time or date, I will inform you again. So the topic will conclude in test two. We start from topic four, five, and six. So three topics only in test two. So <clears throat> we will use Edmodo and Google Form. Okay. So. Uh, how to run test two? How to run test two? Okay, on the dead on the dead day and on the dead time. Okay, you have to log in your Edmodo. Eight thirty p.m. p.m. Eh? Eight thirty p.m. or eight thirty tiga puluh malam. Okay, in front of your screen of your screen, you can see. Uh, I will share with you some of link. Some of link. In at module. So what you have to do, you have to click the link and then the link will bring you go to this Google form. So you have to answer all of question in a Google form. There are written tests, no oral tests. Okay. So uh, test one, I give you the highest mark because I'm also your examiner. But in test two, marks will be provided based on your answer only. Okay, so if you make a more practice, make a more revision, you will answer all of question. Okay, they have three part of question. Part one, <clears throat> uh, about you have to fill in the blend. They give you some of dialogue or some of paragraph. So, uh, you have put the best answer. The answer already uh, top of button there. So you have choose which one the answer. I think this is easy lah. Okay. Uh, they're more about the vocabulary. You have to remember about the vocabulary. So the second part about the numbers, how to read the numbers of, about the time, price, and mm, 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 date. Okay. Time, price, and date. How to write down the answer. Okay. It's not more about you know how uh, you know how to count one until nine, but you have to know how to spell the numbers. 
how to spell satu, how to spell dua. Okay? Because you have to write down the answer. And the last part, uh, about, yes, you have to rearrange the words to be a complete, uh, complete sentence. Okay? They give you five words, so you have to rearrange which one the best word. All right, so that's all. Okay? So, um, <clears throat> my advice, my advice to all of you, please use PC or laptop or a computer to ensure your smooth answering question online. Because uh, every semester when you try to use iPhone or handphone or Android or your gadget, sometimes their loading is too long. Sometimes you can't see the picture there. Okay, so this is a problem for you. So make sure you use a PC or laptop to answer the question. So please ensure your internet is in a good condition uh, to avoid from any problem. Okay, because they just give you 45 minutes to answer the all of question. But if you did not done to answer in 45 minutes, the system will be closed. So you have a problem to submit your answer. Right? So, okay. Uh, in weeks 11, I mean two weeks from now, because uh, today this is a week nine. So two weeks from now, we have to discuss and check all of exercise from a topic four, five, and six. And one more, I will give it to you the extra exercise. Actually, the extra exercise, the question similar like a uh, question from test two. Okay. All right. Uh, this is I try to help you. Lah. I try to help you to make sure you get uh, the highest mark in the test two. All right. So lastly, please manage your time because uh, you have done, you have, you must done your question and submit your answer before time run out. Okay. Uh, so that's all. I, I think ev everyone, is it clear about S2? Okay. Yes. Very good. <clears throat> okay. So everyone, let's begin our class today. So topic six, this, uh, this is uh, too long. So you have to give more attention. Okay, because we have to learn about the daily activity. Okay, the daily activity, we have two activity have to do. All right, so the daily activity today, I'm focused, you are as a student in campus. I know some of you as a lecturer, some of you as a doctor, some of you as a someone in outside. In topic six, I just focus, I just focus you as a student in a campus. Before that, I will asking you, what is student activity in a campus? Please give me a 10 answer. What is student activity in a campus? What is it number one? What they are doing? What is student activity? Sport? In a campus, right? Just imagine you are in UPM. What they are doing? Student activity. Football game. Football game. Uh, yes, handle program sometimes. Sport program, then what is it? Studying, studying, of course, classroom. studying. But then, uh, go to classroom. Yeah, go to class, attend a uh, lecture class. Okay, number five. What is it? Number five, everyone. What are you doing as a student? <laughs> Go to um, court together, <laughs> okay, and then discussion, and then what is it? Some paper. Yeah, submit the paper, doing a sum of assignment together, research together, and then what is it? Three, three more, three more questions, uh, three more answer. What is it? What are you doing? You as a student in UPM? Going to the library. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go to the library, studying lah. Okay. Yeah. Two? Two more, what is it? Let's do some art activities. Art, art activity. Art activity. Give the example. Yeah. Art activity, what is it? Give example. Dancing. dancing. Yeah, dancing, singing. Yeah. All right, yeah. so one more, the last one, what is it? We can eat some delicious food. <laughs> <laughs> delicious food, yeah. Food are taken uh, in faculty food, uh, technology of food, yeah. All right. So they have uh, so many activity until because there are a lot of activity until sometimes you blur. What is it? What is it? Okay, because yeah. there are a lot of. 
Okay, so now I just list down. I just the list down is six activity only. There are a very famous activity in a campus. I mean in UPM. All right. So what you have to do, you have to memorize because in final exam, believe me, they give you the sum of future, and you have to answer like a multiple choice question. So they give you, let's say, they give you the future this one, and then A. Uh, I mean, it's badminton, for example, B, library, C, jogging. Okay, I, I mean, it almost in uh, Malay language. Lah. So I just explained in English. So which one the best answer? So you have remember the name of the activity. Okay. So the first picture, bird jogging. Doctor, Wei Sha Sha is waiting room. Wei Sha Sha is waiting room. Yeah. Wei Sha Sha. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay, done. Okay, continue. Uh, Berjoging. Okay. If you find a cap capital letter R, your tongue must vibrate. Berjoging. Okay. Uh, similar like English pronouns. Jogging also. And the second one, berbasikal. Berbasikal. Okay. Berbasikal, I mean, this is a verb. Basikal, this is a noun. Same with berjoging. Okay. Berjoging, this is a verb. But jogging, this is announced. Okay. So number three, bermain badminton. Bermain badminton. In English, playing badminton. Okay, number four, perpustakaan. Kaan, not perpustakaan. Eh? Uh, see, they have double A. So kaan. Right? Perpustakaan. Number four, attend uh, lecture class. So if you look at this picture, this is the hall in UPM where you have to sit down for a lecture class. It's too big, all right? Class, I mean class. And then the last one, bermain bola sepak, playing football, all right? So now I want to someone try to read again because I want to listen your pronunciation. Uh, maybe I would like to call uh, Ma Hai Long. Yes. Okay, please help me to read the name of the sport in the name of the sport, the name of the activity in university. The first one, what is it? Bird jogging. Bird jogging. Second one? Uh, bird basica. Bird basica. Number three? Mm. Bermain badminton. Bermain badminton. Number four? Uh... Perpustakaan. Perpustakaan. Number five. Class. Class. Last one. Uh, Permain bola sepak. Permain bola sepak. Okay, just one uh, word. I have to correct you. Uh, bermain. Okay, bermain. Everyone. Bermain. Ah, uh, this is not bermain. I know main in English. Uh, they have a meaning. Okay, so now bermain, main. Okay, look at my look at my mouth. Main. Okay. Ah, main. Bermain. Bermain, bermain bola sepak. Not bermain. Okay, main bola sepak. <coughs> okay, so we go to the another slide. Wait, yeah. I try to bring it the biggest one. Mm, okay. Okay, because we are a student in UPM, so of course we have to know the most popular place in UPM. Okay, so the, the first one, the first one, Bagunan Chancellery. Okay, did you remember how to pronounce the capital, uh, the letter C? Sure, okay, not K, okay, Bagunan Chancellery. Okay, so who have any idea what Bagunan Chancellery? What is Bagunan Chancellery? Any idea? What is it? Hospital? No, this is not hospital. Class building. Um, bank. Pardon? Bank? Class building. Class building? Mm, not? Class what? Chancellor's building. Yeah, Chancellor building. All right. So... For those uh, you have been in UPM, so this is a Vinci office. 
this is a main building in UPM. Okay, this is the main building in UPM. So you have to uh, try to Google, try to type Bagunan Sensory. You can see they have a uh, four or five level, if I'm not mistaken. So if you want to go there, you have to put the formal attire uniform. No jeans, no slipper, what is it? Uh, so you have to put the, uh, the uh, formal attire uniform, okay? If you want to be in here. So there, this is the best place if you want to register some of a uh, subject, you want drop of your subject, you want to settle about your school fee, and it, everything, you can do it at there, all right? So this is the um, Vinci office, all right? Okay, so the second one, the Lang Gang. Okay, the Lang Gang. <clears throat> so, any idea? What is it, the Lang Gang? It looks like so familiar. What is it? The Lang Gang. I try to make it the biggest one. Uh, okay, not now. Okay, what the meaning? What the meaning of the Lang Gang? Any idea? What is it? Studio. 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 Yeah, you can see gelanggang in a stadium, okay? This is a court where you can play a tennis, badminton. What is it? Basketball. Uh, softball. <laughs> and then basketball. And then netball, right? But if you want to play uh, football, you have to go to fields, not here. This is just a court, okay? So the number three, pusat kesihatan. What is it, pusat kesihatan? Hospital. Healthy center. Pardon, pardon, again. Pusat kesihatan, what is it? Uh, health center. Health center. Yes, health center of university. Pusat kesihatan, this is a health center of university where you can get a free of medical, when you can get a medical certificate, where you can want dating with a doctor. So this is here, okay, health center. Pusat kesihatan. And number four, college kediaman. What is it, college kediaman? Where you have been in UPM, you can stay here for a long time until you end of your program, until you end of your PhD and master. Library. Student dormitory. Okay. Student dormitory. Like a resident, actually, uh, the best answer this is a campus. Okay, campus. All right. College Kediaman, this is a campus where uh, UPM, they have 15 campus. So I, I, I want to ask you, who are in UPM now? I want to ask you, did you live in, a, 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 I mean, is college 10? I mean, 10 college. Are you staying here? Who stayed here? Nobody. Because uh, the campus stand, this is in front of the Faculty of Engineering. Very near. Okay. Uh, some of students, they stay at here because this is a very easy to you want to access, go to a faculty. You can uh, walking, just walking to go there. All right. All right. And the last one, perpustakaan. What is it? Perpustakaan. Wait now. Uh, Perpustakaan. What is it? Perpustakaan. Why you can library. Yes. Library. Library. Okay. Library in UPM is too big. They have, I, if I'm not mistaken, they have a four level. One level in ground floor. Okay. Uh, you can you can borrow your books. You can get any reference there. Okay. You have to follow the rule lah. All right. So this is the most popular place in a UPN. So you have to know the name in Malay language. So after this, if you want to go some, some places, you can use this vocab. If you want to communicate with a com community in UPM, all right? So now, this is the best, uh, wait, sorry, I have to make the small one. Sorry, sorry. Okay, who they are? <clears throat> Allahu Akbar. Sometimes my mouse is, is broken. I'm not sure what happened in my mouse. I, I have to handle it with my hand. Okay, so who they are? Siapa mereka? Okay, actually, they are the most uh, important people in UPM. Without their art, UPM is nothing. Okay, without all of the people, UPM is nothing. So the first one, 
pelajar. Who is it? Who Student. Is it? Yes, of course. Okay, pelajar is most important uh, for all university. Without student, so university is nothing. Okay, because you are as an asset for UPM. In UPM, they have two categories of student. The first category, we call it prasiswaza. Prasiswaza, who are doing for a degree program. Okay, who are doing for degree program. Pasca, pasca siswaza. Pasca siswaza, who are doing for master and PhD program. So I believe you are pasca siswaza. Is it right? Yes. yes. Of course. If you say, no, I'm a prasiswaza, you are not in my section. Because if you are prasiswaza, you have to take for a group, not section. Okay. All right. So the second part, the second people, the most important is pensyara. Who it is? Teachers. Teachers. Yes. Pensyara okay. as a teacher or lecturer in university. Yeah. Okay. So... I already introduced myself in the first meet we are meet, uh, meeting, all right? So I'm not your lecturer. I as a teacher. I just a teacher only. I'm not a lecturer level. Because teacher and lecturer, they are different. Okay, they are different. Because lecturer uh, who are teaching you in a faculty. So I'm a teacher because I'm not faculty. I come from, I mean, the school of uh, language center, okay? Handling uh, from UPM. Okay, so that's why I'm not lecturer. I'm just a teacher. Even I'm even I'm PhD holder, just call me a cikgu. Just call me a teacher because I'm not lecturer. But if you have uh, finished your, if you have finished your study and then you are PhD holder, you will get the title doctor. Okay, if you look at someone, the title doctor, that's mean uh, they are uh, they are a PhD holder. And then Professor Madia, that's mean that somebody they make a lot of research and then establish the research is very established. All right. So Professor Madia. Professor the highest more than Professor Madia. All right. So the third one, Knight Chancellor. <clears throat> so you have to know our Vinci, Knight Chancellor is V Vinci. Okay, this is our Vinci, Knight Chancellor. Okay, his name is Professor Dr. Muhammad Roslan Sulaiman. I'm not sure um, uh, he's come from which one faculty because if you want to be a VC, you have to be a dean first and then UPM will select you uh, which one the best performance to be a VC from UPM. Okay, so the last one, <clears throat> this is the most, most uh, important people in UPM. They have a staff to handle your, your problem. They have a dean. At a leader in your faculty, and they have a pengarah. What is it? Pengarah, director. Pengarah is director. Okay. All right. So this is the people very important in university. All right. Okay. So now, look at the screen. So I give it to you. This is a, a too much a vocabulary. So what you have to do, I give you two minutes. So you have, please remember, please memorize the vocabulary here because I have some of activity. We have to do it using this vocabulary. So I give you two minutes. Please remember the vocab here and then I will delete this part and I will ask you, what the meaning of borrow? What the meaning of reference book? What the meaning of reasoning? Okay. Okay. Two minutes, everyone. Please remember what the meaning that
<clears throat> okay, let's we try. Okay, Chen Jie, are you there, Chen Jie? Chen Jie, are you there? Yes, teacher. Can okay, you please tell me what the meaning of three of the words there. The first one, what is it? Borrow. What the meaning of borrow? Um, um, pinjam. Pinjam. Reference book. Very good. Returning. What is it? Pulang. Uh, Pulang. Um, okay, Pulang. Very good. Okay, terima kasih, Chen Jie. Uh, Suala Samsun. Suala Samsun. Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, how about waiting, cycling, and do? Waiting. Tunggu. Yes, very good. Tunggu. Okay. Cycling. Ber basikal. Hmm. And do. Buat. Yes, very good. Buat. Terima kasih. Uh, you and you, Bin? Yeah, I'm here. How about revision? Revision. Uh, ulang kaji. Ulang kaji. Examination? Mm, mm, pap, mm, papri, papric saan. Yes, papric saan. Okay, 2A saan. Near or getting closer? Uh, Samaking ham pier. Okay, very good. And the last one, Shaima. Discussion and group. Yes. Uh, discussion is perbincangan. 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 How about last um, one? Group. Group. Um, kumpulan. Kumpulan. Yes. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. So <clears throat> now you already know what the meaning there. So I give you. The simple uh, situation, the simple conversation. So maybe you can choose this one to, to make your uh, second video as uh, assignment number two. Okay. So Siti, uh, situ situation, Ali bertemu Siti. Ali uh, find Siti at a bus stop. Okay. Ali meet Siti at a bus stop. So what happened? I, I need someone to be Ali and someone to be Siti. Uh, Kasim, can you be Ali? Yes. Then Ming Ping, can you be Siti? Yeah. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Hi, Siti. Awa mahu pergi ke mana? Pergi, nak pergi, pergi. Pergi, pergi. Mm -hmm. Hi, Ali. Saya mahu uh, pergi ke uh, Pusa Taken. Saya mau pinja buku ring rujuka. Awa buata apati sini. Saya sedi tunggu ruju kami mahu ber basake sleeping ini. Selepas kasim selepas nak sleeping sleeping itu. Okay, can you? Uh, uh, oh, pergi tu, pergi tu. Saya mahu um, buat ulang ka, ulang kaki, ulang kaji kerana peperiksa. Peperiksaan. Wait, wait, wait. Peperiksaan. Peperiksaan. Hmm. Uh, Sama can pump here. Right? Yeah, but Kami akan Mingata can Perpekan 
kumpula, bada, wake, malam, nani. Nanti, okay. Nanti. Paikal, uh, paikala. Uh, saya <laughs> masuk ke perpustaka dahulu. Uh, dahulu, dahulu, ya. Yeah. Jumpa lagi. Baik, jumpa lagi. Okay, terima kasih both of you, Fasim and Mimping. Okay, so now, I not provide everything to you. So let's, we try to translate together. Okay? So what happened? Ali say, Hi Siti, awak mahu pergi ke mana? What the meaning in English? Where do you want to go? Yes, where do you want to go? Okay, and then Siti said, Hi Ali, saya mahu pergi ke perpustakaan. Takaan. What is it? I want to I go to, to the library. library. Yes, I want to go to library. Yeah. Saya mahu pinjam buku rujukan. I, I want, want to, to borrow, borrow a borrow. reference book. Oh. Yeah. Yes, I want to borrow a reference book. Awak buat apa di sini? What are you doing here? Yes, what, what are you doing here? Saya sedang tunggu Raju. Mm. I'm waiting, waiting for, for Raju. Yes. I'm waiting for Raju. I'm waiting for Raju. So, Raju may be uh, Ali's friend. Okay. Kami mahu berbasikal selepas ini. We want to uh, go bike. Bike. Cycling. Bicycling. <laughs> yeah. Cycling yeah. after this. Selepas ini after this. All right. Oh, begitu. Oh, I see. Saya mahu buat ulang kaji kerana peperiksaan semakin hampir. Hmm. I want to some revision because because the exam is getting closer. Yes, the examination getting closer. All right. Yeah, betul. Yes, that's right. Kami akan mengadakan perbincangan kumpulan pada waktu malam nanti. Uh, I group discussion. Yes, we have a group discussion at tonight. Tonight, okay, malam tonight. Baiklah, okay. Saya masuk ke perpustakaan dahulu ya. Hmm. Hmm. Sure. Something about exam. Already. Pardon? Saya masuk. I see you. Not. Okay, let me enter to library first. See you. Okay. Okay. See you again. See you later. Okay. All right. So this is a simple situation. I think a lot of people last minute. A lot of people. A lot of group. A lot of partner. A lot of couple. They used. This is a situation to make it this the second video because no numbers day. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. Okay. Okay, so now this is uh, some of activity. We have to do it together. So what you have to do, please write five short sentences using the words I give it below. Okay. So what you have to do, you have to refer the situation sentence for the example. So I give it to you. All right. So the first word ulang kaji. Second word, pulang. Third word, perpustakaan. Number four, bermain the return. Nah, last one is kelas. Please don't combine the all of it to be a one sentence. So you have to make a five sentence. Alright? So everyone, I show again. So let me delete first. This part, okay? So I give you five words. Please make a sentence. Alright? 
try to mix your own sentence. Simple sentence, very simple. And then put the answer in text box. So everyone, I give you 10 minutes. I think it's enough to all of you to make the, the simple sentence. And then don't forget to put the answer in text box. I have to read and we have to check one by one. Okay. So your time starts. Uh, start now. I will come back at 11.50. Yes. What is this, Wala? Hello. Huh? We use all this. Pardon? We we'll use this for to make sentences. Yes. You have to use this word to make five sentences. So I give the example. Okay, I give the example. Please refer the example. Ulang kaji. And then you make the simple sentence. Saya mahu buat ulang kaji. Okay. Saya mahu pulang buku rujukan. This is very simple. You try to make your the, the simple one. Okay. Actually, uh, okay. saya suka buat ulang kaji. Mahu and suka, this is a different, right? Okay, so put your answer in text box. So I'm waiting for your answer. I give you 10 minutes. I will come back at 11.50.
Yes.
Okay, everyone done? Nobody put the answer. Who have done? Put the answer in chat box. I want to read it. Put your answer in chat box. Let I have to check. Because in final, you have to make your own, your own sentence, your own answer. That's why we have to practice from now. Just a simple answer. Okay, Shaima, thank you. The first one. <coughs> Saya mahu buat ulang kaji. Saya mahu pulang buku. Why your answer same like my, my uh, answer? I don't know. Hmm? Everyone, saya mahu, saya mahu, saya mahu. Your answer same like me. <laughs> saya mahu buat ulang kaji. Saya mahu pulang buku. Saya mahu pergi ke perpustakaan. Saya mahu, saya suka bermain bola sepak. Saya mahu pergi ke kelas. Okay, almost perfect. Pan Anci, saya mahu buat ulang kaji. Saya mahu pulang buku. Also same like me. Okay, of course perfect. <laughs> Okay, Zihui, saya mahu buat ulang kaji pada waktu malam. Okay, very good. Uh, Khasim, saya mahu buat ulang kaji kerana pemeriksaan semakin hampir. Yes, very good. Nice. Okay. Some more? Try to use the vocab I teach you before that. Saya mahu pergi ke perpustakaan. Pada pukul 2. What's time? Let's say. I just give an example. Okay, so everyone, uh, it's too long when I want to wait into everyone. So, uh, please write down your answer and then put the answer in WhatsApp group. I have to check one by one. Okay, after this, so we have to continue our slide. Okay. okay. They have uh, so many slides we have to cover. All right, so uh, who have done submit in... A textbook, no need to submit in WhatsApp group. But if you did not submit in, in a textbook, please submit in WhatsApp group. Okay? Uh, I very appreciate your effort. All right. So, uh, we continue. <clears throat> so, now we're talking about time and date. Right? So, I think time and date, this is a very easy because I already explained. Uh, last week to all of you how to read the time, how to read the date in Malay language. Alright, so this is a revision. Okay, this is a revision. The first one, I already teach you in a topic two. I already tell you according time about morning, afternoon, evening, night and uh, midnight. Okay, so you have remember the time we start the morning, uh, afternoon, until midnight, all right? So refer the notes. Okay, so now, this is how to asking about time and how to write down the answer, okay? You, uh, this is a very useful if you want to pass in your test too. Okay, so this is a very important notes. Wait, yeah, what happened in my slide? MashaAllah. Wait, wait. They have a problem with my computer, I'm not sure. Okay, so this is how to asking about time. Pukul berapa sekarang? Okay, if you want to communicate in a UPM community, Malaysia community, people community in Malaysia. So how to use the best center how to asking the, how to asking about time in Malay language. Pukul berapa sekarang? Pukul berapa sekarang? Meaning is what's time now? Okay. So, look at the future A. Look at the clock. Pukul 2 or 2 tepat. Okay. Pukul 2. I mean is 2 o'clock. Okay. So how about 2.15 minute? Pukul 2.15 minute. Okay. 
pukul 2.15 minit or you can say pukul 2 suku. Pukul 2.15 minit or 2 suku. Okay. Uh, because suku I mean is a uh, quart of pence hour. Okay. So uh, most important when you look at the question asking you about time, don't forget use the word pukul. Okay. For the first word, put pukul. Okay, but if you try to look at the meaning of pukul in dictionary, that means this is uh, you beat someone, actually. You beat someone. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay, uh, in dictionary. But based on the situation, based on the sentence, pukul, that means uh, we focus about time. Pukul dua tepat. Okay, so number three. Pukul dua tiga puluh minit. In exam, this is the method how to write down the best answer. Pukul 2, 3, 10 minit. That's why I told you, you have to remember how to write down the number with a good spelling. Pukul 2, 3, 10 minit or 2, 1 half. I mean, it's half an hour. And the last one, pukul 2, pukul 2, 45 minit. 2, 45 minit. Alright. So please put some a remark on your note. You have to make this as a revision. As a preparation for test 2. Okay. So now. <clears throat> this is a date. How to read the date. Okay. If the question, they give you the date like this one. This is uh, like this one. This is a Europe style, English English format. Uh, 18 September 2020, right? Okay, but Malay format, 18 September 2020. So this is a different type. This is a different type. Because Malay language, we start from day, month, follow, by, follow one by years. Okay, so I think... You are you already know how to write down the date? Okay, so now this is how to remember how to memorize day in a weeks in Malay language. I think for those uh, students come from an uh, Arabic country like uh, Iran, like uh, uh, like a what? Okay, for Arabic student, for Arabic people, I think this is a very easy to you because the name of the day in a weeks. Similar like Arabic word. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Ah, we start from Ahad, Isnaini, Salasa, Roba, Hamis, Jumaat, Sabtu. Is it? Sabtu. Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah. So for those a China student, yeah, I of course I love your China student also. Okay. So please memorize the name of the day in a week. Okay. In Malay language. Isnin, Selasa, Rabu, Kamis, Jumaat, Sabtu, Ahad. Okay, I want to share you about my, uh, my kid story. Last day, okay, yesterday, yesterday when I teach uh, another class, so I teach, uh, they are how to memorize the name of the day in a week. So my kid, three years old, the youngest one, she already know the name of the, the day, but, but she don't know how to rearrange. We start from Ahad and then what? They just know the name only. And then uh, she is singing. Okay, nearest me. She is singing. Uh, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, seven day in a week. All right? <laughs> so, okay, my kids. So I, I have to call, uh, call she to sing to all of you. You want, you want to sing? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you are trying to student. You have tried to sing in to remember the name of the day in the weeks. Okay? Because my kid is singing uh, for English version. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I think this is a Chinese, Chinese rhythm, is it? Kong si kong si kong si ni, is it? All right. Yes. So please remember the day in a week. So how, how to remember the method? Yes, it's up to you. Okay. Sometimes it looks like um, kindergarten, but this is a very important to help you to memorize. Okay. Because in exam, they will give you 
uh, you have to rearrange the name of the day in weeks. We start from Ahad and then you have to finish. Ahad, so you, so you have to fill in the, the blank. What what the best answer? After Ahad, what is it? After Isnin, what is it? After Selasa, what is it? Okay. All right. So now, <clears throat> this is how to tell you, uh, how to tell you, how to remember, uh, how to read the names of the month in the years. Okay. Actually, this, the pronoun is similar, but the different uh, is spelling. Okay. Look at January. Okay. Look at January. What the difference between English and Malay format? English uh, Malay spelling. Is it I, right? You have to change for Y. Because Malay spelling January, R-I. But English spelling R-Y. Okay, so February. What the difference? I. Yes, I. also I. I. Also I, you have to change for Y. Mash? Sh. Yeah. R and H. Is it? M A R C H. Okay. So missing R and H. All right. April? Correct. Yeah. April is same. same. Yeah, almost same. May? Why? A Y. A Y. Yeah. A Y. Okay. So June, missing what? E. e. Yeah, e. missing E. How about July? Why? Uh, July. Yeah, why? Why? Yes, why? August? Totally different. Totally different. <laughs> yes, different. Yeah, totally <laughs> different. So you have to remember, okay? August, how to that prepare? Easy, yeah. Malay <laughs> August. Uh, Malay language is very easy. August. Okay, how about oh. September? Same. Same. Same, yeah. correct. Yeah. October? K. Yeah, K. K. You have to change K. with the letter C. C, October. November? It's correct. Uh, all, almost same. And the last one, December. S. 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 To change for letter C. Okay, so I make a, a simple conclusion. Capital Y have to change for I, for Malay language. Capital uh, S must to change for C. Eh, capital C, capital letter for C, C, no, capital S. Letter C must to change for S. Okay? Like December, what is it? Like uh, October. Okay, C, you have to change for C. Okay, thank you. And then, all right. So, this is a vocabulary you have to remember. But in Malay language, bermula or mula. We start, I mean bermula, start. Before, sebelum. <coughs> Forget, lupa. Attend, hadir. Okay, so now we have a 27 participant. Okay, so that's mean everyone attend in my class. Very good. Actually, my list 26, but we have a 27 because class has him. <laughs> okay. Replacement class. Replacement class is class ganti. That's why I told you today, actually, this is a public holiday. And then we have to do a replacement, replacement class on Friday. Friday. So I think this is a very difficult to arrange to all of you. So that's why I just on our class. Okay. So please, please don't. Uh, what we call it, don't, don't uh, condemn, don't comment at cup. Why my teacher doing my class? This is a public holiday. No, everyone silent. Quiet. Okay, <laughs> right. So, kalau saya tidak silap, that means is if I'm not mistake or if I'm not wrong. All right. So, can you, you have to use this word. Kalau saya tak silap, kalau saya tak silap. Because, yeah, I always forgot everything. That's why I always to use kalau saya tak silap, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Okay, so everyone, this is a, uh, yeah, this is a very important word, okay? Please don't stress because we have to do the last activity. So before we doing the activity, you have to remember this word. Okay, you have to remember this vocab. Okay, listen carefully. Today, today, in Malay language, that means it's hari ini. Okay? Tomorrow, that means it's esok, esok. 
Yesterday. Semalam. Semalam. Today, tomorrow, yesterday. So I think this is a very easy. But I have to put a color because this is a very important category. Okay. Now you did not understand. You will be understand after this. Why teacher put the color? Okay. Today, hari ini. Tomorrow, so yesterday, semalam. All right. So now, lusa. <clears throat> day after tomorrow. Okay. Day after esok. Day after esok. All right. Kemarin. Day before yesterday. Day before yesterday. Okay. Uh, all right. So, I put the red color. I hope you know, you understand the concept. All right. So, please remember, today, that means it's hari ini. Tomorrow is esok. Yesterday is semalam. Uh, day after tomorrow, we call it lusa. Day before yesterday is kemarin. Okay. So, now, I give you some of activity. Let's we try to do it together. Okay. Mm. Okay, the first one, the first level. Hari ini hari Jumaat. That means is today is Friday. Jumaat. Friday. Yes, hari ini hari Jumaat. Today is Friday. Esok hari. What is it? Sabtu. What the best answer? Sabtu. Okay, Sabtu. this is. Sabtu. Yes, this is a very easy because this is the first level. The second level, everyone, answer together. Eh? Semalam hari Kamis. Semalam, I mean, it's yesterday, is it? Yesterday yes. is Kamis. Kemarin. What meaning of kemarin? Day before yesterday. Okay, look at. Kemarin. Day before yesterday. So, what day? Rabu. Rabu. Kemalam Rabu. hari Kamis. Rabu. Kemalam hari Kamis. Yes, Rabu. So, what day is today? Kamis. So that means today is Jumaat, is it? Yeah. Uh, so today is Jumaat because yesterday is Kamis, kemarin is Rabu. Alright. So le the level three. Esok hari Sabtu. Tomorrow is Sabtu. Lusa hari. Lusa. Mm. Day after tomorrow. Lusa is day after tomorrow. What is it? It's me. Are you sure it's me? Day after tomorrow. Day after uh -huh. Sabtu. Ya, uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, but thank you, uh, Sola. You try. Yes. I like it. Okay. Ahad. Uh -huh. Because day after tomorrow, I mean the day after Sabtu is Ahad. Okay. So, level four. Kemarin hari Rabu. Kemarin hari Rabu. Semalam hari? Kamis. Ya, yeah, Kamis. Hmm. Sorry. Kamis. Okay, so the last one. Lusa hari Ahad. Lusa hari Ahad. What day is today? Jumaat. Yes, Jumaat. Mm -hmm. Lusa hari Ahad. So hari ini hari Jumaat. It's like a mathematics problem. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone, can you follow or not? Yeah. If you if you did not catch up, yes, you have. Uh, I I record this session. You can uh, repeat again in YouTube, or I have to explain more time. Okay, look at today is hari ini, tomorrow is esok, yesterday is semalam. Okay, so lusa day after tomorrow. Okay, kemarin day before yesterday. All right, so this is the activity. You have to refer to the activity and then try to understand what the meaning is that. Alright, so everyone, 
Okay, very good. <clears throat> so you have to remember this method because they will ask you in final exam. Okay. Okay. So now focus for test two, not final exam. We just just keep it your your your, your net first. Okay. We just keep it your net. Ah, uh, settle your test two. Yes. Look at this note to focus for final. So now focus for test two. All right. So this this is a last situation. Mei Ling, she wants to go to class. She wants to attend his uh, her class. All right. So Suraya and Mei Ling. So what happened? Can I say Z Zu Z Zu Z Hui? Are you there? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. And one more. Okay. You be a Suraya. Can Z Hui? You be Suraya. Okay. All right. And Shaima, once again. Yes. Try to be mailing. Okay. 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 Let's begin. Okay. Hi, mailing. Awa mahu ke mana? Hi, Saraya. Saya mahu pergi ki class. Awa pulu. Okay. Wait, wait. Uh, mailing. This is not ki. This is a ke. Ka. Yes, ka class. Ka class. Awa pulu, pula. Um, saya mahu um pergi ke kelas um bahasa Melayu. Um, kelas saya um bermula pada pukul um satu um pen Pantan. Pertang. 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 Hmm. Oh. PM. Pagi. Pagi tu. Pagi tu. Kelas saya bermula. Um, pada. Um, pukul. Uh, pukul. Pukul. Uh, tega um, batang nanti eh ah me meling eh jangga lupa hadiah ke kelas eh uh, ganti bahasa English pada hari Rabu Mm-hmm. Aye, uh, kalau saya ti tidak silap terkahan yang terkian ke tarik yang tarik tarik na tariknya eh uh, pada uh, 30 um, November Butu mailing kita jumpa di kelas nanti. Okay. Bye. Jumpa nanti. Okay, very good. Terima kasih. Okay, so now let's we try to translate together. Hi mailing, awak mahu ke mana? Meaning? What is it? Awak mahu ke mana? Where are you going to? Where yes. are you going? Where, where do you want to go? Where are you going? Same lah. Okay, where are you going? And then Meling say, Hi Suraya. Saya mahu pergi ke kelas. I'm going to the class. I want to have a class. Yes, I have I a want class. To... I want to go to I class. Have... I have a class. Okay. Awak pula, how about you? 
Okay, how about you? Saya mahu pergi ke kelas bahasa Melayu. Saya mahu pergi. What is it? I want to go to Malay language class. I want to go to Malay language class. Kelas saya bermula pada pukul 2 petang. Uh, my class start at 2 p.m. Yes, my class start on 2 p.m. Oh, begitu. Oh, I see. Kelas saya bermula pada pukul 3 petang nanti. My class started, started yes. at 3. Mm -hmm. My class start on 3 p.m. Okay. <coughs> Mailing. Jangan lupa hadir ke kelas ganti bahasa Inggeris pada hari Rabu minggu hadapan. Oh. Attend something. Don't forget. Lupa hadir. Don't forget to attend. 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 attend the class. Kelas English ganti. class. Kelas ganti. What is it? Oh. Rip. Nak. Rip. <laughs> Rip what? <laughs> Replacement class. Eh, class ah. is class. Okay, class is class. Now, class ganti. I mean, it's replacement class. Okay, don't forget to attend our replacement class, English language, on Wednesday next week. Minggu hadapan. Wednesday next week. Wednesday is Rabu. Baik, okay. Kalau saya tidak silap. What is it? What is it? Kalau saya tidak silap. I already told you. This is a vocabulary. You find this word in vocabulary. What is it? Kalau saya tidak silap. I'm not mistake. Yes. If I'm not mistaken, the mm -hmm. day is thirteen of yes, thirteen of November twenty twenty two thousand twenty 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 lah. Okay, alright. Betul, Meling. Yes, Meling. Kita jumpa di kelas nanti. See you on there. Okay. See you later. Right. <coughs> so this is the last situation. Uh, in the topic six, okay. So you can choose uh, which one uh, situation come from topic four, five, and six to make your own uh, your uh, your video, your assignment number two. Actually, they have a ten couple already submit uh, assignment number two. Okay. So how about you? How about you? How are you? Your assignment two. <laughs> How are you, your assignment too? Did you find your partner? No? Not yet. Uh, not yet. Yeah, have. Okay. Uh, yes, I have. Okay. Uh, okay. Very good. Alhamdulillah. Uh, Suala, Suala, Emmanuel, Suala, Samson. Ma, I not find your partner. Are we using the former partner? Okay. Uh, you want to join Hello? Brandon or you want to join Bea? Are we using the former partner or you are giving us new partner? Uh. You try to find with your own. If you did not find, I will give you the partner. Okay, Sola? Okay. All right. Terima kasih, Sola. Mm -hmm. Okay, so finish uh, our slide PPT for today in topic six. So I will let like to uh, present to you your exercise. <clears throat> okay. How to find your exercise? Where? Where is it? How to find your exercise? Edmodo. Yes, everything on Edmodo. Okay. All right. So this is your exercise topic six. I told you this is a uh, mandatory. Even no need to submit. Even they not provide marks to you. But this exercise will help you to get more understanding to learn Malay language. And this exercise also help you to pass in your test and final because some of exercise the question similar like your test question okay so 
In this exercise, they have three parts of question. The first one, you have to match the sentence with the correct picture. I already uh, prepared the sentence. So what you have to do, you should put the best one sentence based on the picture. All right. Saya kurang sihat. I mean, it's, I'm not very well. So what the best picture? Saya kurang sihat. Which one the best picture you have to go? Number one, A, B, C, D or E? D. D, of course, because this is the health center, right? Uh, let's see. So this one, this one, this one, you have to finish with your own. I don't want to provide the answer. All right. So the number, the number, the question number two. All right. So this is a, also looks like your answer. It looks like your answer. It looks like the same question in test two. <clears throat> where they give you the number like this one. All right. So what you, uh, you have to do, match the correct time. All right. Match. Use the ruler and then match. Pukul dua, dua belas tengah. Match them. Which one dua belas tengah? What number dua belas? Dua, dua belas is what? Dua belas in English? Oh. Yes. Dua belas is twelve. So which one the twelve? This one, right? Uh, so match. Damn. All right. Pukul sebelas lima puluh minit. What in English? What is it? Sebelas is what? Eleven. Seven. Lima puluh minit. What is it? Fifteen. Yes. Yeah, so 15. eleven fifteen minutes. So there. It is the answer. Match them. All right. But in test two, the question is not easy like that. Lah. I give you the exercise. Yeah. The exercise is very easy. Lah. But in test Sometimes it's quite difficult because you have to spell the numbers. Mm. Okay. Ah, I just get, uh, in exam, they just give the number. So you have to spell the answer like this one. Pukul tujuh empat puluh lima minit. Okay. So now the last part. <clears throat> yes. They give you some of calendar. If you, if you remember last week in topic five, I told you about a uh, receipt and an invoice. You read the receipt and invoice. Okay. So now they give you the calendar. So they give you the calendar. So you have to read the calendar here. All right. So, uh, but <clears throat> please careful how to answer the, ans the question. You have to use the complete answer. You have to put the full of sentence answer. Let's say number one. 21 Mei 2021 jatuh pada hari apa? What the day on 21 Mei? What day on 21 Mei? Please tell me. What day on 21 Mei? Jumaat. Pardon? Jumaat. 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 Okay. If your answer just Jumaat only, this mm -hmm. is the wrong answer in um, Malay language. Even this is the answer, but if you put answer Jumaat, you will get zero marks. Because in Malay language, this is a comprehension. So you have to give the full of sentence answer. Okay. 21 May. Wait. May. May, 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 May. May 2021. Ialah hari Jumaat. Okay. So we, you will get the uh, full answer. But if you're afraid, you are uh, worried. Teacher, if I just put 21 May 2021, Jumaat only. Uh, let's see. How about my marks? Yeah, maybe uh, you, will get, get, uh, you will get the half of marks. Actually, you try to put the best answer. Okay. Uh, okay. Better than Jumaat only. Jumaat totally is wrong. Okay, even this is the, the answer. You have to try. You have to try because in uh, your final exam, another lecturer will remark your answer. Okay. All right. So I think uh, everything is finished. So do you have a question before I end our class? No, thanks. No? Are you sure? You want to ask me about the test too, or you want to ask me about blah 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 blah? No? Is it clear? 
Or okay. teacher, honestly, I did not understand. <laughs> what is it? Yes, Emmanuel, you want to ask me? Yes, about the test. Okay. I what the question? I did, not join, I did not join your class on time. So when uh, I joined, uh, talking about the, the test too. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. What and what are we to prepare for? Okay. Wait, yeah. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, so Sola. This is the detail about uh, test two. Please copy mm -hmm. the detail here. Okay. okay. Any question? No? All right, so uh, if you don't have a question, I think it's, everything is clear. Lah. But if you still have any inquiries and want to ask me and want to uh, involve me to join your study group or whatever, okay, just request. I try to, uh, I try to, my, I try to do my part with my best, all right? So that's all for today. I hope everyone enjoy in my class. And don't forget to make a revision. Don't forget to complete your exercise. Okay. So see you again next week. Jumpa lagi. Assalamualaikum. Terima kasih semua. Bye. Terima kasih. Bye. Bye. Jumpa lagi. Jumpa lagi. Bye. Don't forget to zip your mouth. Eh. For the public holiday today. Bye. <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye. Sola, Sola. Yes, yes, ma. How about your 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 wife? She's fine, ma. Fine. Yes. Masha Allah. All right. Thank I hope you. everything is okay, lah, Sola. Eh? I hope everything is uh, your uh, everything is okay. So where your wife now? In hospital or in your house? In the house. <laughs> Masya Allah, alright, Insya Allah. Okay, uh, what is your the the your daughter, the first one? Uh, two. Two years old. Is yes. boy or girl? Boy. Boy, Masya Allah, Insya Allah, Insya Allah. Okay, okay, so lah. I hope everything is okay. Okay, alright. So bye, so lah. Assalamualaikum, everyone. Bye. bye. Meng Ping, Yu Jian Ping, we already finished. You want to ask me? No, no, sorry. Hi, Meng Ping, where are you? Yeah. <laughs> bye bye, doctor. Yeah, bye. Where are you? you want to ask me some more questions? No, no, I have no question. <laughs> okay, bye. Happy holiday, Meng Ping. Yeah, happy holiday. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, bye, Julian Ping.
Ikian. Ikian. Frenzy. Frenzy. Shaima al Mengkin. <coughs> 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 Hmm. Ada burung deh tuh. 